Hi ladies and gentlemen, in today's video we're going to be exploring a $15.5 million Shopify store that is completely untraditional. You've probably never seen something like this, so the learning that we're about to be extracting from this video, or rather from this website and you extracting from this video, is going to be unmatched. So let's get right into it. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to go through their website, through their marketing. We're going to bounce off some ideas on how they could take this further and also explain how you could start something similar if you're an aspiring entrepreneur. Now, the store is called Spiceology, and what they do is they sell all sorts of seasonings. So it's a seasoning brand. But as you see, it's quite creative with the way that they've branded it. They've made it seem like chemistry little jars, right? Like these are all like chemistry symbols, but it's actually spices. Now, I just want to show you real quick the challenge store that we're running here, just so you know who I am, so you can kind of somewhat take this stuff seriously, even though we're exploring other brands. We're doing quite well on our challenge store here. We reached 4.5K yesterday in a single day, and we run meta ads for clients as well in the eight figure range, some of them you know, spending tens of thousands a day. So I understand how a lot of this stuff works, probably better than anyone else on YouTube that's doing this kind of content. So let me just show you, first of all, a couple of things that I think are great. So first of all, right away, top selling products are at the top. They got some authority badges here, BuzzFeed, etc. But we're actually going to look at one of the product pages just to see what it looks like. Now, it looks pretty traditional, right? This is what most landing pages look like on Shopify. And, you know, they're not doing anything too different. The only thing that I think is really cool here that's very creative outside of the actual brand and marketing or sorry branding is these recipes so this is what i love most about this brand and one of the reasons why i wanted to share with you obviously they're doing quite well they're estimated at 15.5 million a year which is massive right and they've raised 10 million dollars <laughs> imagine raising 10 million dollars for a seasoning brand right so what i think is so genius about this is the content opportunities if you can create your business with content in mind, knowing that content is worth as much as gold these days, then, you know, this just allows you to have a lot of confidence in whatever it is you're selling. If you can make a lot of content with it, that's amazing. So they got some reviews and that's pretty much it as far as the website goes. The last thing I think is worth mentioning is obviously they have the recipes tab, which is great. Tons of content. It's kind of like a blog. And then the last thing is they have a flavor quiz. So this is a way to gather emails and leads and engage people on the website. This is a very smart idea if you have a product that people may have a hard time choosing between. So having a quiz not only allows you to make it clearer for them whether or not they need to buy a specific product, but also it allows you to get their email address and be able to offer them promotions in the future, etc. That's why a lot of brands do stuff like this. Now, the next thing we want to look at is their social media because this is the second step of, you know, the puzzle here. They're posting a ton of content, so exactly what you would imagine. A lot of content content of them just using the product. Now, I will say, if I was them, I would be going way harder at actually showing me making recipes with the product. But making it even more aesthetically pleasing than this and making it more consistent because each video looks a little bit different or a lot a bit different but i think if they could develop a consistent you know content creation schedule not only schedule but also just look and feel that would go a long way but they are posting a lot of content which is great and they're also posting that content on facebook and Facebook Reels are actually very powerful right now, something a lot of people are undervaluing for some reason. But that's what's incredible about short form content and why you should consider it when you start your business is because it can be posted everywhere, right? It can be posted on YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, Twitter. I mean, TikTok, right? Like literally everywhere, even Pinterest and Snapchat these days. So that's super powerful. And then when you combine that, with what they're doing here on meta ads, you start to build a massive snowball of momentum. So what they're doing here is they're running 88 different paid ads results. So let's actually take a look here because this is how they're generating most of their consistent income. 
and they do very simple stuff. So the ad copy here is Nashville hot charred broccoli. The one time everyone eats their veggies. That is a brilliant, brilliant ad copy right there because they're showing this. This is actually great, right? Because it shows how you can even create a problem that your spice solves. This is like a great idea because when you think of spices, you don't think of a problem solving product, right? But it is. People don't like veggies. But with this seasoning, it'll make the veggies much better. So let's take a look quick. Um, okay, so, you know, just this is a great consistent posting style. I would just do this over and over again if I were them and post that on Instagram Reels and everywhere else. Really nice. So as you see, it doesn't even really look like an ad, and that's probably why it does so well. Sorry, my camera died. Um, but anyways, as I was saying, that's a very brilliant move to just take all your content that could be used as ads where you're placing the product very directly and creating an ad out of it. And then of course, just having other, even just white background images with the product right front and center is a great idea, especially since this branding looks very eye-catching because it looks like a chemist, right? It, it looks like a chemist would have something like this. And they also have other products. So that's the another key to their success. They're continuously launching new products. So launching new products is a hack to continuously build hype for your brand. And really, that's kind of it. I mean, as you see on TikTok, they're posting a lot. But again, for some reason, it just doesn't seem like they're doing a super consistent uh, posting strategy. Well, actually, it is consistent, but it's not doing that well. So I would maybe try to mix it up a little bit, maybe make it even more aesthetically pleasing, maybe drop some similar stuff as they've done um, on their meta ads. Like this one was so good. This one right here. I love how they film that. They should do that for all of their TikToks and even YouTube. I would be I would expect them to make way more YouTube videos. I think they went with like a crazy high production value here. So and the other one, it's not high production value enough. This one is way too high production value. So they got to find that middle ground. But that's always fun. I mean, that's personally what I loved when it comes to e-commerce businesses is always testing something. That's the premise of my agency. That's the premise of the channel. That's the premise of everything we're doing. Even with our challenge store, like I said, we're just constantly testing new things. And that's how we're able to do, you know, a ton of profit. I mean, this month we're already at, I think, 6k plus of profit which is pretty amazing and you know that's a ton of revenue this business could already be sold for a lot of money and it's all through just testing and you know doubling down on the things that are working continuously finding new things that are working doubling down on those and then you know you just build this flywheel effect but that's really it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it and got a lot of value from it the last thing i guess i should say is how you could start something like this is really simple Go to Shopify. You can use the link in the description to get a special deal. It's only a dollar a month right now. Incredible. And, you know, create your store and then find a product idea. You can either do that through something like CJ Dropshipping, where they already have products that they can ship for you that are good and trending and have a lot of demand. Or you could create your own products, find manufacturers, Google seasoning manufacturers. You will literally find some even locally that could probably create something similar to this. And... I would say don't try to reinvent the wheel. Just make your things slightly original, slightly creative, but capitalize on what you've seen working out there. That's the fastest way to succeed is just to piggyback off of the hard work of other people. I'll be honest, that's really one of the major keys out there. It's just to not really overthink it. Don't reinvent the wheel. Be original, sure, but don't try to be too original. Otherwise, you're just going to be spending a lot of money trying to make something work. But that's about it for this one. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.